is here. It's Brian. it's Brian Kilmead, Fox and Friends weekday host, joining us now. Uh, didn't know you were going to be here, Brian. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, that hurts my feelings. Well, I know. <laughs> and, and that's a text from Steve you just got. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, we're glad you're here. You know, you talk about history all the time. You're effectively uh, the Fox News Channel historian. When you hear University of Buffalo cancel Thanksgiving, it's all about our horrible history. Your reaction? I mean, it's unbelievable they're, they're doing this all over the place, uh, trying to take Thomas Jefferson out of the University of Virginia, which he founded. This is the same group that goes at the Buffalo and says, let's just get rid of that day. Uh, when you look back at the history, Washington says, hey, we should have a day of Thanksgiving. Actually, Congress asked him to. And then when, uh, it gets fired up back and forth up until Lincoln. Lincoln says, let's make this thing permanent. Grant actually does it. FDR makes it a national holiday. It was all about us coming together one day about family. And at one point, the American Indian as well as the, the settlers, they actually came together and helped each other. It was an up and down relationship, obviously, complex, clearly. But I think these people all don't have families, so they have nothing to do on Thanksgiving, so they want to destroy it for everybody else. No thank you. And this is the type of thing that helps Bill Maher, of all people, write his monologues. More and more people on the left are fed up with this. Absolutely. Do you think we can actually fight, that we can actually win this fight against this cancel culture, especially when it comes to our American history? Absolutely. I mean, I'm all for changing, getting better on a on nonstop basis, but I think it's happening because, like I said, you're not just seeing, you know, Fox News. Uh, you're not just watching Sean Hannity at night and saying, wow, that's the only place that there's pushback. I'm astounded by a lot of people, especially after Tuesday, more than ever, you know, from Dave Chappelle on down, say, you know, what basically, what are you doing? Our, our push to be right, to look back honestly at our past, uh, air quotes, has now turned its guns on them. They're canceling each other now. Mm -hmm. Now they're going after holidays. I think it galvanizes. I mean, there's a reason why you usually take MSNBC, CNN. No one watches the Sunday shows anymore because they're agenda driven. Mm -hmm. Their vision of America is getting pushed back from the American people. So you keep at it. You keep up with these holidays. It makes our shows better. <laughs> well, we are excited to talk about Brian's new book, uh, explores how two American heroes moved from strong disagreement to friendship, and in the process, they changed the entire course of American history. It's called The President and the Freedom Fighter. Brian, tell us about the book. Well, I mean, what I wanted to do is take that next step in time. Uh, as Sam Houston, the Alamo Avengers, uh, Will, you're all over it. The Texas history is something Texans knew about. And I thought, okay, what's the, uh, the thing the rest of the country needs to know about? And thankfully, people are really interested. And Sam Houston and Andrew Jackson had this relationship, so it was a natural progression. At first, I thought, man, we don't need another book about the Civil War. There's Lincoln is the most written about uh, subject in our history. Nobody writes about presidents more than uh, people write about Abraham Lincoln. But I thought, here's a relationship. Let's talk about race, the, the evil of slavery. Let's talk about a man that overcame it, the so-called self-made man. And let's talk about a guy in abject poverty who was uh, born to two illiterate parents, whose mom dies at nine years old, who no one thought would amount to anything, but was determined to amount to, amount to everything. And he would not be dissuaded. Now, along Along the way, I think these are personal, inspirational stories, but I saw parallel tracks and then quickly coincide to help us come out on the other side of a brutal civil war. And I thought if we could tell those stories, if I could tell those stories parallel, see them coincide, and instead of having people's opinion, they wrote so much. Uh, every speech is transcribed. Uh, most of their work, uh, the newspaper, the North Star newspaper, had editorials by Frederick Douglass almost on a, a daily basis. You could really see what they thought and bring you back to that time. And that's why I thought it would be good to tell, talk about America from that, from that perspective. They're great. They're both great giants in history. And by the way, I, I, I resent seeing it as black history. Frederick Douglass is American history. He's such a part of this story yeah. of, of, of that era. You are going to be on tour, by the way. You're going to be in Charleston, West Virginia on Wednesday, November 10th. Today. He's or in Charleston today. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, that's okay. I'm sorry. Right you're now. today in Charleston. Tonight, you're Wednesday. You're going to be in Madison, Connecticut. Um, you're going to be in Pennsylvania um, uh, on November 11th, and also in Orlando and Point Verde, Verde Florida, Clearwater, Florida. Those are the dates right there, um, so people right. can catch you. And you also have a, a television special tonight. 
Yeah, at 10 o'clock uh, for the last four months overcoming the pandemic, we've been trying to shoot this, and it's finally done. Uh, the President Freedom Fighter comes to your screen tonight at 10 o'clock on Fox News Channel. Then it will migrate over to Fox Nation expanded version. And I think you're going to see these two men. We go to the sites that they live, the places that they are marked, and you really get a sense of, uh, of what it was like being them. So the President Freedom Fighter at 10 o'clock tonight, and it'll give you an idea of what the book's about. I do have to tell you one story that happened today. Uh, we were here, and this studio was at a different location and moved, so we got the wrong location, and we <laughs> just arrived here at the time. But en route, we blew out two tires, and then a man <laughs> picked me up on the side of the road. I just sent the picture to Nikki. Uh, really? He picked us up on the side of the road and brought us here. He's actually waiting on the outside because we were stuck <laughs> on the road. So we wow. got in the car, and we came here. And this tells you how nice everyone in West Virginia is. Yeah. They said, I'll, I'll wait here and make sure if you're going to be done quick, I'll bring you back to your car. Uh, so oh, I've never awesome. seen two flat tires, ever. Was but it was two? good to see. It's just that I have no plan B. So my <laughs> plan B was a nice man in West Virginia picked us up and brought us here. That's, That's awesome. pretty cool. A special tonight, a special on Fox Nation, a book tour where you can catch Brian, BrianKillMe.com, uh, and then the book. And Brian, you are a really nice guy, and this book is very good, which is why I was Thanks. so excited, Brian, when it landed on my desk in my office, signed by you. And my edition said, to Pete, the coolest guy on the 21st floor at Fox. And right. I was like, this is, is unbelievable. I yep. showed it to Will right I know, away. I was like, I ha ha, Will. It's super weird because my signed edition said, to Will, way cooler than Pete. And so then we were confused. It, does that make me the coolest guy on the 21st floor? If I'm cooler than Pete, who's the coolest guy on the 21st first floor I, I got the book and he didn't sign it <laughs> wow <laughs> Sorry. thanks I brian uh well i feel bad rachel i apologize <laughs> uh pete and will i never thought you'd actually uh, end up talking about the book on television <laughs> i never thought it would actually come to this so i can't make a decision I've always liked Rick Rackmoth better than everybody yeah. on the show. Yeah. Hey, so yeah. and I couldn't get him a book because all he wants to do is talk about weather. <laughs> Way to stick well, the landing. Gather your kids around and watch this special. This is yes. a really awesome thing. Congratulations, to watch. Brian. Brian. Congratulations. Yeah. Say Thank thanks you. to the guy. Brian, that one last there. thing, guys. Yeah. One last thing. Governor Jim Justice is going to be joining me tonight at four o'clock matinee. We have a few seats left. On stage, I'm going to be talking about all the books at once, live studio audience, Great. Uh, kind of sponsored by Fox Nation. So, uh, hope to see anyone in West Virginia. Number one, I need a ride. <laughs> number two, uh, number two, I'll see you tonight uh, at Charleston Theater. Last night, Leonard Skinner played across the street, and you know they were our favorite band, uh, our favorite band, and we were able to go watch them play. And they all say hi to you guys. Oh, I just watched nice. their documentary. All right, man. Awesome. Uh, good to see you. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.